Yeah, so my research is in the field of theoretical particle and nuclear physics. And in particular, I study one part of the standard model, which is called quantum chromodynamics. And that's the uh, theory of the strong interaction, the theory that explains why there are particles such as neutrons and protons, what they are composed of, that means quarks and gluons, and, and what kind of properties these, these particles have. So the question my research deals with is uh, how ordinary atomic matter behaves in the de densest possible surroundings that there are. And in nature, the densest matter that we have can be found inside so-called neutron stars, which are almost on the verge of collapsing into black holes. The matter in, inside these stars is uh, composed of ordinary atomic nuclei, uh, protons and neutrons. And in fact, you can think of a neutron star as one giant atomic nucleus. These stars have typically radii of the order of 10 to 15 kilometers, and, and they uh, can contain, uh, their masses can, can uh, reach even two solar masses. And my research is really trying to answer the question how this kind of matter behaves, and, and what the identity of the matter in the very course of the largest neutron stars is like. So uh, whether so-called quark matter can be found in these stars or not. So the ERC funding is, is uh, of course, a, a unique opportunity. It's, it's not every day that one gets this amount of money for, for one's research. Uh, in my field, since I'm doing theoretical physics, uh, we don't really need any large-scale equipment, but rather the money will, will simply go to personal costs. So uh, I will hire new postdocs and, and probably new graduate students. And, and with, this, with this new team, we will be able to tackle uh, a very ambitious research project that probably otherwise either we wouldn't have been able to tackle at all or at least it would have taken a much longer time. So my research probably doesn't have any, um, any immediate applications for, for society or, or for technology. But if you look at today's society, many of the things that we use in our everyday lives, starting from mobile phones and, and going all the way to, to just basic electricity. They, were, they did not come from uh, startups, but they, come, they came from basic fundamental research. And who knows, in a hundred years, in, in, in a thousand years, the things that, that our society will depend on, they might well come from what we call basic curiosity-driven research today. The motivation to do, do research is, is uh, that's a question that I guess every scientist asks himself or herself uh, time after time. It's, it's not always so such an easy question to answer. So one thing is certainly curiosity and, and really the desire to find out how, how nature works. But, uh, but then there are of course other aspects of, of academic life that are very nice. Starting from academic freedom, the fact that we can ourselves choose what we study and, and also how we do research, where we do research. This is, is something that is is actually very valuable. So in, in short, I'm trying to uh, figure out how very dense nuclear and quark matter uh, behaves and, and this kind of information hopefully will one day, maybe even in the next five or ten years, lead to discovering what lies in the course of neutron stars, whether we have this so-called quark matter in these stars or not. So uh, I must say that I can't really think of a better place to do this research than the University of Helsinki. So we have an extremely strong tradition in, in my field in uh, quantum chromodynamics QCD at finite temperature and density, which is largely due to uh, Keijo Kajantia, who was actually my PhD supervisor and, and now an emeritus professor. In, in, in Helsinki we have a very uh, focused, very high quality research group in, in my field and uh, we are very well known, Keijo, Keijo and, and his descendants are well known in this field, so so it's uh, somehow in my particular field, Helsinki is one of the best places in the world to, to work in.